What is going on guys, Ultima Deadpool here, back with a uh, new video. Um, so as you can tell by uh, both the intro of this video um, and the title of this video, um, I finally finished my Knight Rider model car. Um, so this is clearly Kit. Um, so let's go ahead and start turning him around. So, uh, the circuit board is underneath the dashboard. Um, <laughs> unfortunately, this car did not turn out the way I had hoped, or at least it didn't work the way I had wanted it to, but that's okay. Um, it still works. It still f is put together now, and I'm happy with it. Uh, <laughs> originally, the idea was to put the battery underneath the hood, um, and as you can clearly see in the back seat, there is the battery. Um, now you're probably wondering, well, like, Ultimate Deadpool, that's not really a problem because you still got it to work. Yes, that is a problem because now I can't turn it off. <laughs> it is like that until the battery dies. Um, <laughs> I have no way of turning it off unless I completely dismantle uh, the entire car just like just to get to the freaking battery so um this car is not perfect not in the least um but it is in fact uh it does work so that's that's good to know um these uh led sensor bar or chaser uh fits very well right here um on the in the dashboard so we had to turn it upside down, which kind of sucks, but you know, uh, you got to do what you got to do to make it work. So I realized it's a little bouncy. The LEDs are not perfectly straight, nor are they the same length, uh, which sucks. But you know, um, again, I'm not complaining. It works. Uh, everything fits together fairly decently. Um, but again, we had to put the battery in the back seat so that way um, it did what it's supposed to do but it works fine um it, it had some problems earlier when we uh were testing it it kind of would go like in just one direction it wouldn't go like that like it's going right now it just the lights would just simply go one direction and i'm like nah -uh. so we fixed it so hopefully it won't do that anymore um so i might whenever i can find my michael knight um i will Consider doing a Knight Rider mini series. Uh, new episodes every Saturday. Now, nothing has been confirmed yet, so don't get your hopes up. So, um, but I will use this car. Now, the only problem with this is this car is now a lot heavier, and the scanner or the chaser is still having some problems, um, technical wise, meaning it's uh, occasionally now. Uh, still goes to one direct or still lights up only one direction um, So and that's fine. I just have to take the whole thing apart and try to fix it so um I will use this car um, For that mini series whenever I get a chance to do it The problem with it is is if it does start doing that that series is gonna have to come to a halt so that way I can perfect uh, this um, car now again it's not perfect but you get the idea of what it's supposed to be you know you take one look at this car and you're like oh it's kit well duh it's a 1982 Trans Am painted black with the license plate lettering night on it the dashboard looks like nothing anyone has ever seen before which is fantastic there's a big ass battery <laughs> in the back seat and there's red lights that are going back and forth on the front of the car. Um, so, you know, it's not perfect, but, you know, it gives you the idea of kit. Now, for those of you who are not familiar with what Knight Rider is, you've been living under a rock your entire life. I'm not saying that to be a jackass. I'm not saying that to be mean. I know people don't always uh, watch the same stuff I watch. Uh, pretty much basic thing is, is Knight Rider is kind of like a detective slash like 
action show. Like, it's pretty much that it's about a talking car um, <laughs> that can do anything. It's indestructible, it can drive by itself, it talks, um, it drives by itself, um, and it does just a ton of different things. Um, and the main star of it is David Hasselhoff, a.k.a. Michael Knight. Um, long story short, Michael gets it, you know, just watch the show. I'm sure all the episodes are on YouTube. Um, there are four seasons. I realize they remade the crap, the, the show in 2008. I have no respect for that show or the person who decided to make it. Um, because they ruined one of my favorite shows growing up as a kid, and it's still one of my favorite shows today. Um, they ruined it in 2008, and I watched, like, maybe two or th two episodes or so, and that was about it. <laughs> um, and ever since then, I have hated Mustangs. I have hated the person who made that remake, um, and it wasn't even a remake. It was more of like a bad continuation that didn't work because they tried to bring back the original story and they failed miserably and it just did not work so well. <laughs> so that's not the only reason I hate Mustangs. I hate them because they are completely overrated and that's just me. I realize a lot of people like Mustangs and you know, I, I like old Mustangs. I like Mustang up until the 2002 model. After that, they just went down the toilet. So, and they just started remaking them the exact same design every time. Like, oh look, a new light bulb. That's a completely new car. Let's add a thousand dollars to it. Oh, look at this. A new function for the freaking uh, turn signals. That's another hundred thousand dollars. They're, they're overpriced. And they're too, I just, I don't like Mustang. I never really have. They were never really my favorite car. And then that Brent, that car ruining my childhood car just pushed it over the edge. I, I can't do Mustangs. You know, if I'm forced to drive one, then that's one thing. But if, if I have to be getting paid to drive it, like... Say I land a job as an actor or something. If I'm being paid to drive the car, that's one thing. But if I have it as like a daily driver, I couldn't do it. So. But, um. I'm not saying that they're bad cars. That's just me. So anyway, I'm getting way off topic. <laughs> so. Uh, anyway, once I find Michael, um, I can maybe start looking towards a uh, little YouTube uh, Night Rider miniseries. Kit will obviously be in the show because, well, he's like the main character or one of the main characters. Um, I do need to make um, the uh, Night Foundation semi, um, maybe. <laughs> um, I'm not 100% sure on that yet. Uh, Goliath could be a thing. Car definitely could be a thing, but I'd have to buy another one of these and another one of those with... Uh, yellow LEDs and that's just <laughs> out of my uh, range right now um, so I'll give you guys a better update video on this later um, I am looking for a 2005 Silverado um, I found one near my area that's like literally very close to where I live um, and I'm gonna look at that it's they uh, they were asking like four thousand nine hundred and fifty dollars for it I made a bargain with them for 4000 even. So every th bit of money I get is going to go to that. And then once that's done, um, I will uh, go back to spending money on y'all. Uh, and then just work up to my uh, truck. Or up to my uh, extra stuff with my truck. So it's nothing against you guys. I sh my, car, my current car that was in yesterday's video, I'm just too tall for it. So, uh, because if you notice, I had a hard time getting in the car because I'm too damn tall. So, um, anyway, I'm getting off topic again. So, uh, if you want to try to get the circuit board, uh, for this, um, it's just basically an LED chaser. Um, so I'll put a link in the description below if you guys want to get this, um, circuit board. 
Um, it does not come assembled, so just FYI, you do have to assemble it yourself. Um, but if you do it right, it, it's supposed to do this. Um, <laughs> Um, this is the second time we've actually had to try to do it for this car because my dad accidentally messed up the first time around. Uh, but that's okay. We ordered a new one. Uh, it's about $13 or so. Uh, a link will also be in the description if you guys want to get the actual car. Um, so I believe the car is like $25. So the entire car costs approximately uh, $35 or so. So it's a, it's a really decent price, so if you guys want to try to get a car and a scanner like this to build this kind of car, both links will be in the description below if you guys want to try to get these things. Um, I believe you can find both of them on Amazon. I did find uh, the exact same car on um, modelcars.com, so that link will also be in the description. So if you don't want to use Amazon, you want to use a different website that sucks, uh, or might suck, I don't know, I haven't done anything from them yet, um, then... Links will be in the description for that. So uh, there will be three links in the description. One is for the scanner. One and then two are going to be for the car. So um, anyway. So hope you guys enjoyed this video. Uh, you will definitely be seeing this car in the road rally. So um, till next time. Uh, on Ultimate Deadpool. Um, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And I will see you guys all later on Ultimate Deadpool. Peace out. You guys are awesome. I'll see you guys all later. Bye.